Hey guys, Victor from Victor G Photography. Welcome back to my channel. This video that I'm going to be showing you guys is a fitness shoot shot at a local gym where I'm at with not one, but three different fitness models. Uh, I had such a great time doing this. I really love doing fitness shoots. It's just one of those things that I happen to just kind of fall upon and I just really love the style. Now, one of the models, Anita, I've shot with many times before and so she was able to actually get a couple other people who would be interested to get some shots done before their competitions were coming up in the next couple weeks. I put all of their information down in the description below. Make sure you check them out, give them some love, follow them on Instagram. We were able to shoot at this private gym in Granite Bay area. Now, when shooting in a gym, it can get a little tricky because one, there's a lot of people that will usually be there, and two, the walls usually have mirrors all around it, so not only do you have to really focus on not getting you in the image, but also if you're dealing with any off-camera lighting, you have to angle it specifically so that you're not getting the flashes in the shots as well. So in the video, I kind of go over how I do it. Really, I only use two lights. I have my 8600 and my 8200 to just kind of pop and fill any lights that I need. A good advantage of having mirrors all over the walls though is that you don't need that many lights in order to get a lot of lighting in the area. The mirrors can act as an additional lighting tool for you by adding just a little bit of a pop on the end for you. Uh, I was able to use this a couple times to my advantage, especially when shooting sideways uh, along a mirror. Anyways, I have it broken up into three different sections for each model and you'll see that the lighting styles are going to be very similar because we just took one from one part, put in another model and then so on and so forth. But I, I just kind of stitched it all together just a little differently for you. So take a look and let me know what you think. So first up is Taylor and we are on a Smith machine. Um, on the left hand side is the AD600 with the Octobox and then on the right hand side I have the AD200 with my strip box. The key light is the AD600, uh, that's my main light just putting out a, a lot of power uh, and then on the right hand side I just have a little tiny pop of light just to kind of fill in a little bit of the shadows. You do want shadows with your fitness shots just because it will accent the muscles more and make them stand out so it really complements how physically fit they really are. What's great about fitness models is that they know how to pose. They already know which muscles they need to activate and which ones are stronger on them and which ones look good. So really you just have to work on your own angles to make sure that you're capturing it in its best possible light. And now we have the first outfit change. She wanted to wear something that really showed off her glutes as well as her quads. She's been working on them all season just to get ready for this competition. So she's really proud of them. Now, as you can see on the machine itself, the bar does not have any weights on it. This is done very purposefully because you don't want your models to get burnt out doing different lifts and stuff. She doesn't even have the bar activated, so she's just resting on it herself, flexing her quads and her thighs just so that it looks like she's really hitting those squats without burning herself out. With these kind of shots, you can just hit so many different poses and they all look really good. Just play on your model's physique and what they really want to show off in the camera. Uh, the, always ensure that they engage those core muscles because those are what show up and what everybody loves seeing in these shots. So we switched up the whole area and we put her in front of the mirror with the dumbbells. I was just getting some awesome shots from behind as she was lifting. I got some great reflection shots as well as ones from her back.
And then the third part, we moved over to these cables uh, and she just did some easy pulls, just accenting the muscles. She wasn't lifting anything hard or heavy, so she wasn't really tiring herself out. So the second model that we have is Taryn, and this girl's got hair for days. Just check it out. Uh, this is the same setup as the first one with Taylor with the light on the left and then the rim light on the right. Uh, the settings are all the same from earlier as well. We just wanted to get similar poses for each one of the models, and they all turned out fantastic. And just like with Taylor, we did some shots from the front as well as her from behind uh, on the Smith machines doing some of those squats. Quick outfit change and we went over to the mirror where the dumbbells were. Just like with Taylor, we did a couple of the free weights for her, just uh, really accenting the biceps that she had as well as the quads and glutes. When you're working with a mirror like this, you can really take advantage of the angles just to get some good reflections of the model's face while they're doing the different exercises, as well as being able to get some good definition in the muscles with each pose, whether or not they're bending over, standing up straight. Uh, they really engage all of the muscles that are required and it just shows in the image each time. Last one of the group was Anita. She wanted some really simple shots, nothing too crazy. So we went over to the mirror where the dumbbells were, did some shots with her lifting and just doing some bicep curls, uh, as well as flexing the glutes and the quads that she had from the back. We also got some side shots of her just kind of like doing a kneeling barbell curl. Uh, really simple stuff, nothing crazy. They're really simple shots, nothing crazy, just like the other models. Images came out fantastic, so just let me know what you guys think. So that was the video. What do you guys think of it? I had a really great time doing this whole entire shoot. The models loved the images that came out of it and I think everybody came, walked away really happy with this. If you have any suggestions or questions on how I lit certain things or my thought process for the shots, just let me know in the comments below. As well, if you have any other suggestions of shoots that you might be interested in doing, definitely let me know. I'm more than happy to listen to them and try to come up with some great ideas for everybody. 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell. That way, whenever I post something new, you'll be able to get a notification as to when it was, and then you'll be able to check it out sooner than later. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you later.